In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a dual boot PC with Windows XP and Ubuntu Linux. The things you'll need is a Ubuntu CD and a Windows XP CD. First start off by shutting down your PC and inserting the Windows XP CD and booting from the Windows XP CD. This is the Windows XP C install CD. <clears throat> Let this load up and we'll, I'll show you how to install Windows XP. Once you get to the screen, you want to hit enter to do a new Windows XP install. You must press F8 to agree to the license. Now you want to create your partition. Press C on your unpartitioned space, or if you have partitions already made, you can delete them or add new ones if you have new space. So we want to create a partition, so press C. Designate the size. Remember, you have to install Ubuntu and XP, so you want two decently big partitions. I'm going to make mine 10 gigs. Press Enter when you typed in your size. <coughs> select that new partition. You can select quick or normal. I'm going to do quick for the tutorial. You want to choose the NTFS file system. It's going to format your hard drive and copy the setup files. I'm going to pause the video here and resume when it's done. Once the setup has copied all the files, your computer will restart. Do not boot from the CD this time. From here, the installer will now configure your new Windows installation. I'm going to pause the video here until the first dialog box comes up. Here's the first dialog box that you'll see when you're installing Windows XP. Just click next on this dialog box. Enter your name. And your organization if you have one. The organization is optional. and click next. Now here you'll enter your product key for Windows XP. I'm going to pause the video and enter my product key and hit next. Once you've entered your product key and hit next, you'll be asked to choose your computer's name. You can change it to whatever you want to. There's no spaces. If you choose to have a password, you can enter your password here, or you can leave it blank. Hit next. You can set your time and date here in your region. And hit next. I'm going to pause the video here until the next dialog box shows up. This dialog box will set up your network settings. If you know what you're doing, you can hit custom settings. If you don't, just keep it on typical settings. Hit next. Hit next, or you can change the name of your work group. 
from here your Windows XP is all automated you have to do nothing more and after this the computer will reboot into your new ins newly installed Windows XP machine I will pause the video until it's finished my installation is just finished and now I'm booting into my new Windows XP machine click OK. If you can see the screen you don't have to hit cancel but you can hit OK if you can see your actual Windows setup. If not, hit cancel.